I think it's different branches of the same tree. Got it. So our, our approach to how do you build AGI is of a different strategy than the DeepMind strategy. DeepMind is very much interested in re reinforcement learning. What does that mean, reinforcement learning? Um, it's it's there's a I mean we could we can go they, you know, there's a there's a lot of tech stuff. But, but can yeah, you give so, me the short version. Yeah. Uh, the reinforcement learning is you take an action, you get a reward. Sure. And so you want to take actions that give you bigger rewards. Okay, so it's Pavlov or Skinner or, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that's and that's an interesting line of research, and that's kind of the one of the areas of deep mind focus. Ours is more on uh, generative models, or I guess the the term for you would be uh, imagination. Mm. So we're really interested in imagination. So explain and mental that. simulation. Wow, explain that. Well, there, why that's important. Well, so there are more connections in your brain going from higher levels of your brain towards your eyes than the other direction. Really? Yeah, isn't that interesting? Why is that? I would think that your eyes are processing so much that and it's trying to it all send back. it all no, back. No, no, it's going down. It's and going down to tell your eyes to go to places, to no, look at stuff? No, not even that. Because a lot of that happens uh, without you thinking about it. So that yeah, that's part of the so no. So so you know, there's many theories about this, and part of my view on it is is that it's 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 in 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 part about imagination. Mm -hmm. You're you're constantly guessing what's going to happen next, so that you're surprised mm -hmm. if you know if I suddenly turn into broccoli or something, you're going to be like, wow, I really didn't expect that to happen. Right. Um, and that'll change your model of the world. I so probably being able shouldn't to, have taken the brown acid. Right, exactly. <laughs> you are Jason, a piece of broccoli. Jason. You look delicious. I'm so delicious. <laughs> anyway, so, so you know, we, at Vicarious, we focus on, on mental simulation and on imagination, uh, which is just a different, different way of looking at it. So you think you're going to have simulations that'll be creative? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. I think creative is a good word for it. How they approach problems and stuff. And how they see the world. Uh, you know, ah. you're, you're constantly being like, for example, I can imagine where your hand is, even though I can't see it because it's behind your laptop. Close. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Close. Oh, no, Jason. <laughs> hey, everybody. Let me take a moment to tell you about GoToMeeting, which I use all week long. Yes, I'm meeting all the new potential incubator companies and looking at their products, and I do it. I've taken my meeting game to the next level with GoToMeeting. It is so easy to use. I recommend it wholeheartedly. I've used it for years. It's so easy to collaborate with clients and colleagues from anywhere. And so be a meeting MVP no matter where you are. You can use your phone, you can use your tablet, you can use your desktop. It's so easy to uh, get these meetings going because you know you can just do it with one click. I have it in a Chrome toolbar in my Google Calendar. I put something in my Google Calendar or somebody else puts it in mine one click, I add a GoToMeeting, and then everybody just clicks on the link, and magically, everybody's in there, perfect voice over IP, or they can dial in. Um, it works so well. And one of the little features that I love to use is I will have my executive assistant on the phone with me taking notes. You can also record the call, and we, of course, do that sometimes if you want to take notes. And there's a little chat room in there, so I can chat with people and take notes, and I give startups my notes, my candid notes on what I think of their companies. So all these great little features. And one thing I love is I always have one or two people who are calling in, they're on the road, they've got noise, they don't know how to mute their phone, they forgot their headset. You, if you're in control of the meeting, can mute the participants. So you ever be on one of those phone calls and somebody's like in a wind tunnel, and you're like, who's doing that? Well, you can just go mute, boom, if you're the conference organizer. It works so beautifully. Those are my little tips for you. Um, screen sharing and passing it off to other presenters, another wonderful thing. I'll have a meeting with two or three people, and we'll pass the presentation one from one to the next. It just works. It's so easy for you to step up your meeting game. So I want you to do this right now. It's time for you to put out your best performance. Go ahead and be the meeting MVP of your next meeting. Just start your 30-day trial at gotomeeting.com. Click the Try It Free button. That's Once again, go to gotomeeting.com and click the Try It Free button. You are going to love it. I use it all the time. It gets my highest, highest rating. I love GoToMeeting. Okay, let's get back to this episode.